Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, which is series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils um, fragrances incense etc etc it's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles making candles at home or buying them scented and colored and we go into discussion about that as well that is with Tracy uh, Castledine Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Scorpio. This is your reading for the 5th to the 11th. So let's have a look what is um, happening here. I did shake them before. The Trouble with Transparent Tarot is uh, them, uh, it's my favorite deck. You can see what cards are coming up. <laughs> you haven't got a backing to them. Okay. First of all, we have the Justice card. Second of all, we have the Empress. And thirdly, we have the Death card. Okay. So. Justice will be done if you are in a judicial situation. If you might be imbalanced now, you might feel really the energy of Libra. I hope you've seen the energy uh, of Libra, the video. They stand for harmony and peace. Perhaps harmony and peace have returned to you, Scorpio. Um, you might have come through a divorce or an other legal uh, issue or situation. You could be meeting a Libra now as the Justice card stands for Libra. If you have been feeling out of balance, you are feeling in balance now. You're ready for this new beginning which is lying next to the Justice card. The card that's lying next to it is the Empress card. The world is yours. Spread your wings. Look at the fastness. You can actually start something new. Look at the growth of this new seedling that's come out and more seeds are sprouting out. There might be more than one choice. The Empress also represents Libra. So Libra is significant for you this week. The time is fertile. You might hear of a birth. You might hear of a pregnancy. If you are a man, the, you could become a father. If you are a woman, you might be finding out you are pregnant. Hearing of a birth can be of a child or can be of a new project like a new job or a new house. Something that you were planning. Okay. Uh, perhaps a new relationship with a Libra or Scorpio because we have the Scorpio represented by the death card an ending of a face and a new beginning you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly boom or Libra and Scorpio time will be your time whoa to get back into balance. Good things are happening or getting new things in your time or Libra's time. So you've got from the 21st of September to the 21st of uh, October. And then we're going into Scorpio. So it's about two months time that you have uh, right until the 21st of uh, November then we're going into Sagittarius so you've got quite a while that new things are developing and starting finishing off and starting and I think there will be more choices than just one and I think the first one will be something that is tangible durable and for long term like I said if you are, are meeting up with a Libra definitely Libra because you've got two cards that represent Libra. Um, it will be for durability and long term. Or a Scorpio. That you are your, the Scorpio and yourself. But you could meet a, the same sign. Okay, you could be partnering up. Okay, and then you have the Ace of Pentacles. That could be a new job, a new home, something that's tangible and long lasting. Okay, then you have the Emperor. The Emperor is an Aries. Okay, now the Ace of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, 
and um, Capricorn you could be meeting up with them okay the card of justice could be also uh, be that you might be getting married with them or forming an official partnership seeking um, uh, official officiality getting married justice means also the registry municipalities institutions church so you might be getting married because you've got a long-term relationship and you want a steady relationship and you might have already met the person the tourist the the the, the Capricorn or the Virgo and they are slow but steady and now is the time to get married the, the uh, Emperor could be the person that will marry you this could be the offici official uh, person uh, of an institution or a municipality there's definitely new things coming out or you could be seeking legal advice um, okay this could be your lawyer bringing you justice and balance for long term wow and I, the harmony and peace that Libra stands for wow nice one in the time of Libra or Scorpio okay and your last card your last card this could be a house you could be signing official documents at a lawyer or an advocate or an estate agent making something uh, tangible that's your house the contract the mortgage okay and your last card is the Queen of Fire the Queen of Wands so she's a lady the Queen of Wands is Leo but don't um, exclude Aries or Sagittarius but it is really a Leo okay you might have got divorced uh, or you had legal issues with this Queen of Wands and you got divorced now you can start again because of the Empress okay and she's walking in the mountains so she's walking away okay but she could also also be walking towards you because you've got you are here that's Scorpio or you could be me uh, meeting a Scorpio okay you've got um, one air sign you've got a water sign all the air signs because of the ace and one fire sign two fire signs Aries and Leo so you could be you could be getting married to a Leo or an Aries there's definitely a new beginning um, and also um, you could be moving to the city of look at this this is Scorpio moving into the city because you are literally the city is coming into your card okay Scorpio and she could be coming towards your city so you could be meeting up with a Leo wow but you definitely have victory because that's the justice card you will get what you deserve and they will get what they deserve you will come into money a new job a new home something that's long and that is tangible for long term okay it could also be a relationship if that is what you're seeking perhaps um, a Leo lady could be uh, your advisor and she's advised you to move onwards and upwards stop being the uh, caterpillar and become a butterfly she's a lady that's determined and knows what she wants and she goes for it come what may perhaps you've taken a book page out of her book by following her advice beautiful now the overall energy do you see how the stories um, the story carries on you might have come out of the countryside because the Empress is the countryside in the back of you you're taking a journey and you're moving towards the city so 
some of you might be moving into a town or a city. And your card from the Everyday Witch card is Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. That means you're partnering up with somebody this month. This could be in business or this could be in love. Although um, I see more uh, business-like because of the Ace of Pentacles. I, I, I've got a feeling that it's more business than um, love. But although we have the card of justice, justice will be done, but it also represents uh, marriage to me because of the registry office, because this um, is municipalities and institutions. And you could, you've got the uh, emperor here and he also represents the head of institutions so it could be somebody at a registry office you've met your soul mate Scorpio times are changing for the better for you definitely and definitely in the next two months um, you are going to really you're going to notice the changes definitely and you've got the card helpers now you've got uh, beautiful horses grazing in a group so um, helpers you're usually the one that helps others but I think you're going to get you're moving to a city and you're going to have more people around you they can help you okay listen to the call of spirit leading you to a new way greater freedom is energizing you from the inside so I think if you got if you're getting divorced you are moving on to better times definitely you're feeling energized you may have been feeling anxious wondering if you'll be able to figure out the next step you need to take when an opening arises recognize this as a moment of initiation before you encounter forward momentum again new encounter forward new momentum again new friends I told you I, that is what rep, uh, I thought of new friends yes crowds new friends and helpers will find their way to you through the law of love and will equip you with the tools and resources you need courageous soul as you remain open and receptive to their knowledge and wisdom honoring your truth your own truth and experience your pathway will be uncovered you will emerge wiser and surer of who you are and what you are willing to stand for well I think you will stand for the truth because justice card is here you will get your recognition okay and I think you're moving towards the crowd busy times okay and you'll meet your soulmate good luck Scorpio and enjoy your week stay safe be blessed and please like and share thank you